Some of the major developments we're tracking right now, the number of known coronavirus cases worldwide grows to 22.4 million with at least 787,000 deaths, more than 173,000 American lives lost. And joining me now to start us off is ABC chief medical correspondent, Dr. Jen Ashton. With so much focus on finding safe and effective treatments for severe COVID-19, one of the few drugs that has been authorized by the FDA is remdesivir. There right. have been some issues, though. There have been some shortages. The federal government has stepped in. Talk us through this. Yeah, so let's do a remdesivir 101, Eva. First of all, this is a drug right now that was initially designed to treat Ebola, found to be not so good for that, but may be effective for COVID-19. It has found been found to shorten ICU stay in those critically ill patients by about four days. A five-day course of this drug consists of six vials of remdesivir. And a few months ago, the Department of HHS decided they were going to step in and allocate it state by state. It is still unclear how they're making that decision. So there is confusion on the state level, um, and it's getting pretty messy, actually. And, and you've spoken to some doctors. What they are getting varies state by state, hospital by hospital. Right. What are you hearing? Well, if, I think numbers speak louder than words. So I, I want to walk you through these numbers. This is data as of July 16th to the 19th among the states with the highest number of confirmed COVID cases. So look at Florida. They had about 92,000 cases. They received 20,000 vials or so of remdesivir. If you look at Texas, 79,000 cases, they got more remdesivir. They got over 34,000 vials of remdesivir. Then Arizona, about 42,000 cases. They got 21,360 vials of remdesivir. And then, Eva, take a look at North Carolina. They had about 19,000 cases. They got no remdesivir during this period of time. There were also other states like Vermont that got way more than they needed. So the process is getting better. That's the good news. Um, but there is still a lot of confusion and people are wondering if HHS is controlling the allocation of this drug. Will we be facing similar issues if and when a vaccine comes out? So a lot to follow. A lot of questions yep. about why, what's going where. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Dr. Jen. You bet. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.